A move is on to get CARICOM parliamentarians to place food and nutrition security at the top of their agendas. The parliamentary front against hunger in Latin America and the Caribbean met at Hilton Barbados recently to discuss the issue. CEO of the Barbados Agricultural Society, James Paul, explained the effort to Nation News. It is a Latin American initiative, but it has broadened to include that the fight against malnutrition and other forms of dietary associated diseases. The important thing though is that what it also does, it helps to galvanize support for agriculture in these countries. Um, and to the extent where we feel that if we had a, 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 an agreement across the board, in other words, across both sides of the house, that these are the important things that we are going to stand behind as politicians or whoever, we feel that that will be the, the, the interest of the country in general. So the reason, and, and that is why I will say to you that we, um, Mr. Glenn Carr from the opposition is here, um, Member of Parliament, and we will be looking to put a private member's resolution in Parliament, hopefully as early as next Tuesday, where we are going to put get on the order paper um, a resolution to establish a parliamentary front in Barbados. With that, what we are hopefully going to, hoping to achieve is to find a way of marshalling resources in this country mm -hmm. to help in the fight against malnutrition mm -hmm. and hunger in general. Mm -hmm. We know in terms of Barbados, hunger is not really an issue. What is the big issue in Barbados is the whole question of nutrition issues in terms of the type of foods that we eat. And how do we avoid the lifestyle, avoid the lifestyle diseases like diabetes, the cancer, which are really associated with diet? And how do we also do encourage greater investment on the part of governments in the agricultural sector? How do we encourage the policies that will help with the development of the sector? And not only that, how do we encourage parliaments to make resources available for um, ministries of agriculture to be able to achieve the objective targets which they, they set themselves.